CPO has no right to declare tomorrow's assembly illegal. It is a recognized principle of the democracy that meetings of the legislative assembly should never be obstructed. It is the very essence of the democracy that the people's elected representatives should be able to meet to discuss the most urgent issues of the day. Neither the Day One Secretary nor the CPO should attempt to block or sabotage efforts to convene the assembly which has been validly called. No sooner has constitutional law experts pronounced convincingly that the fourth sitting of the first session of the 12th assembly has been validly summoned, opponents are now restoring to illegal tactics to prevent the assembly from sitting such as closing the assembly tomorrow or preventing members of the assembly from entering the premises. As Speaker, I intend to invoke the, power, the powers of the House to commit those responsible to be punished appropriately. Beside the House inherent power to commit the contempt, I will draw the CPO's attention to the Session 124 of the Penal Code, which is an offence punishable by prison for a term up to seven years and also to a fine. Session 124 is as follows. Whoever with the intention of inducing or compelling or attempting to induce or compel a member of parliament or of any legislative assembly or of any state executive council to exercise or refrain from exercising in any manner the lawful powers of such member assaults or wrongfully restrain or attempt wrongfully to restrain or overage by means of criminal force or the show of criminal force to attempt so to overage, such member shall be punished with imprisonment for a term which may extend to seven years and shall also be liable to fine. I therefore call on the police to ensure that all state assembly men and women are able to attend tomorrow's sitting without interference or obstruction. In view of Day 1 Secretary Abdullah Antong's failure to act impartially as an officer of the Day 1, I am suspending him from his position with immediate effect and I am appointing Inche Mohammad Misbahul Munir bin Mazduki as the Day 1 Secretary. Thank you. Is this a political uh, session? Mohammed, is this a political session? Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. How long? How long? For for this city. For this city. Yes. Maybe how is tomorrow? The court decides that most of the time will be done. Then they are able to attend. Let's see what happens tomorrow. Right. I don't want to make any speculative statement today. Right. So basically, this is a warning to the CPO. As a yes. Of course. So yes, that is in your third paragraph yes. that you intend to invoke the powers yes. if he comes any of you tomorrow. Maybe is there a procedure they take a stay order from the court to stop the the one sitting? Why should not do that? Is there any no no, no precedence ever? No. So this is if they do, there's no court order so far, right? So no precedent has been made. Article 72 of the Federal Constitution says that the validity of the proceedings of the Assembly shall not be questioned by any court. Article 72 of the Federal Constitution. Federal Constitution. Federal Constitution. Federal Constitution. Federal Constitution. Federal Constitution.
and, and many may not realize that actually uh, parliament and the legislative assembly itself is a court mm. and, and it's a, a separation of power legislative, executive and judiciary they are all independent of each other Okay, so this is Yeah, yeah. 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 Finish yeah. and then yeah. right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh,